A traditional belief by many coaches is the mastery of a specific fundamental skill for their particular sport is achieved solely through the repetitive practice of that specific skill within a specific setting. The belief here is consistency will allow for the athlete to learn the skill and be able to perform the skill at an elevated level. What this philosophy fails to consider is the importance of being able to adapt to the environment provided from their sport and implement the skill in a variety of fashions. Very seldom can the conditions of an open skill be controlled within a game situation. Therefore, practicing a skill should occur with variability, a concept known as variable practice. Variable practice is the practice schedule in which multiple variations of a given skill are practiced. Incorporating variable practice has been found to have a greater influence on performance and learning, allowing for the potential of the creation of a more skilled athlete. For example, in basketball, coaches often create shooting drills which have the players repetitively shoot baseline shots. To improve the athlete's shooting from this region of the court, implementing variable practice can be achieved by shooting from multiple locations to enhance the athlete's schema. Schema is the rule or relationship that influences and guides decision making when the learner is presented with a problem. In doing so, the athlete is developing a variation of shooting from this region rather than from just one location. While variable practice can be implemented to improve the potential of the athlete, the practice of contextual interference can provide beneficial results as well. Contextual interference is the in interference that results from switching from one skill to another or changing the context in which a task is practiced from trial to trial. As you can see, the athlete is practicing a variety of shots under different conditions. This forces the athlete to use his schema and adjust to the current condition presented. Implementing contextual interference allows for increased learning as the interference causes the athlete to analyze and react to each situation as seen best fit. In doing so, his shooting skill is developing as he must adjust to each context. The practice of contextual interference can produce an effect that is either of low contextual interference or high contextual interference. Low contextual interference is when the practice trials are organized in a block schedule. A block schedule is when the practice of one skill is repeated on its own, followed by the practice of another skill on its own. High contextual interference occurs when multiple task variations are performed in a random order. Between the two, low contextual interference provides for improved performance initially. However, when knowledge and learning of the skill is objective, high contextual interference is ideal. When practicing the development of the athlete's shot, Many shots should be taken from multiple locations to achieve variable practice and allow for a more developed schema. This creates contextual interference to enhance the ability of the athlete for ideal performance.